Well, just because we don't hear about it every single day doesn't mean it's not an ongoing problem here in the city of Kingston. In fact, those who routinely deal with prostitution say they continue to round up the same women for a crime many have dubbed the world's oldest profession. A great line from that movie, The Godfather, is when he said, I don't care what one person does for a living as, your, as long as your business doesn't interfere with mine. Well, their business is interfering with mine. His business is a TV repair shop. Theirs is prostitution. And they're at it around the clock in a two-block area, according to people like John Mazzone, one of the owners of Telrad at 686 Broadway. Like others in the Midtown Corridor, he says it's becoming increasingly difficult to conduct business. We know the girls by name, and we've seen them for years and years, and every time one disappears or passes away, you get two more to replace them. It, it's, it's sad. Lazone and business neighbor Joe Lalima, who owns a barber shop at 678 Broadway, say the problem has become worse in recent years. I've seen this area go from something to nothing, and it's coming back. But they have to clean up this area with the problems that we have here. Lalima said he frequently calls the police about the prostitutes who stand outside his business, soliciting cars and even conducting their illicit activities near his barber shop. And he said Kingston police are doing what they can. But he has a few ideas of his own on how to clean up the streets. What they should do is arrest the John for patronizing the drug uh, the prostitute or the drug dealer and publicize his name and his picture and that should end it. You see the arrests that are in that are in the Freeman every day. You see these big arrests, uh, multiple arrests. They're doing what they can. You know, we're really overrun. Kingston police told the Freeman they made a dozen arrests for prostitution in the last year. And because there are a few area programs to help prostitutes get their lives back on track, the problem is one that never seems to go away, and that continues to frustrate people like Mazone. You know, most of this, it is drugs, and drugs is the root of that whole issue. No more, no less. In Midtown Kingston, I'm Paula Mitchell for The Daily Freeman.